What's up guys, Swaggy you're back. Today we're talking about the Las Vegas Raiders. This is my dark horse team to win the Super Bowl. And I know you're thinking, well, the Raiders had the best offseason. They won 10 games last season. They made the playoffs. How are they a dark horse? That's actually a fair point. I think the Raiders are criminally underrated. But guys, they have a 1.7% chance to win the Super Bowl, which ranks 21st in football. This is a team that is not thought highly of. I was watching Undisputed two weeks ago, and, and Shannon Sharp had the Raiders finishing in the last place in this division. I don't watch Undisputed. I just happen to stumble across that clip on YouTube. I mean, come on. Like, what are we doing here, guys? This is a playoff team that improved their biggest holes this offseason, Devontae Adams. They also go out there, and they bring in the monster in Chandler Jones. They also added depth and youth to the defense with Jayon Brown and Anthony Averett. The defense last season ranked 26th in EPA drop back. This defense last season was not good to say the least, and they still were able to make the playoffs. You add in Devontae Adams to an already offense consisting of Darren Waller, Hunter Renfro, and Keelan Cole, who should be the field stretcher for this team. They desperately are missing Henry Ruggs. He just made the worst decision that you really can, getting himself obviously out of the league, and the Raiders were never able to find a replacement for him down the field. I mean, Ruggs was just fast, but... Him opening up the field just led to underneath for other guys and made it easier. So once they missed him, they really didn't get anyone like him back. But they did go out there and actually find a replacement for him. Will he be the replacement is the question. But if he does, the Raiders offense is literally going to be unstoppable. This is a team, guys, that has a serious chance at making a run in the AFC. The only teams that really will threaten them are obviously the ones in their division, the Buffalo Bills. I'll throw my Colts into that equation. No one's going to be picking the Colts over these these AFC West teams and the, the Bills, but I mean, the Colts are a good team as well. But I'm just saying, right now, to me, the top teams in the NFL are the Raiders and the Bills, bro. Like, those are the two teams to watch out for, at least in my personal opinion. A 1.7% chance at the Super Bowl is just ridiculous. I mean, take that right now. If you if you can find that somewhere, go and take that right now because you could win a lot of money. Derek Carr's a stud. I've always loved Derek Carr. I actually kind of want to take him as my fantasy quarterback. I'm back into fantasy football playing for money. So if I if I can't get Carr, man, I'm going to go get Trey Lance. But, you know, even carrying a Derek Carr and a Trey Lance is the move, bro. I just I have a lot of faith in, in these Raiders. And I know Raiders fans are crazy, bro. I know they'd be blowing up YouTube videos. So if you guys could smash that like button, I'd appreciate it, man. Nothing but love for Las Vegas. I actually used to work with a guy for a couple of years, and he's like the biggest Raiders fan. You'll never find a bigger one. Shout out Kyle. He's obviously not watching this. But, yeah, this is a team that's going to do scary things in 2022, 2023. And last season, the defense was the demise for the Raiders. I mean, it just – honestly, the secondary was the biggest concern. And outside of the secondary, of course, they just needed that pass rusher next to Crosby, which they addressed. But one thing that a lot of people aren't talking about, I've actually never heard anyone talk about this. Don't give or take. I don't really be watching a lot of Raiders stuff. I'm trying to get more into it. But it's Alec Leatherwood. So if I were to ask you about Alex Leatherwood, you probably wouldn't have many good things to say. However, he played his best football down the stretch. Like the last four games of the season, we saw the best version of Alex Leatherwood. And I'm talking about statistically, not just from the eye test. Uh, I mean, Leatherwood, guys, he rated as a bottom three offensive tackle by Pro Football Focus. And that that is just ridiculous. He is a mid-first round pick, bro. So I'm looking at Colton Miller. I mean, he's fantastic. We need to get Leatherwood playing to his level because the offensive line is going to be the key for the Raiders. The only knock against the Raiders that I hear from like podcasts and people besides the loaded AFC West is the offensive line. They don't believe that it can protect Carr. Also, the secondary, they don't feel like, oh, yeah, Justin Herbert, you're playing against Russell Wilson, you're playing against Patrick Mahomes. Like, the secondary for the Raiders also will be important, but they went out there and addressed it. The offensive line, to my knowledge, I mean, Raiders fans might correct me down below, I don't believe the Raiders have really addressed the offensive line this offseason. I find it hard to believe that that's true, though. In my notes, I currently do not have them bringing in anyone, but I'm sure they drafted someone. I mean, God forbid, dude, if they didn't, there could be issues here. But I mean, the Raiders have one of the smartest GMs in football. I've made a couple of videos on them before. So I'm looking at their team and yeah, just that's going to be the key, bro. Of course, they've got all the weapons in the world. They've got a, a winning quarterback. I mean, Derek Carr, if you want to take another bet, dude, Derek Carr for MVP. I'm talking about an extremely dark horse MVP candidate. But like, I do feel like the Raiders are going to shock a lot of people. And it's kind of crazy to me how more don't have them winning the division. It seemed as a hot take. Like, saying the Raiders will win this division is a hot take. But again, they won 10 games last season. They addressed the defense. And I do feel like a lot of these younger guys are going to 
really progress and we've seen that already in training camp the Raiders have looked really good I was actually just listening to Hunter Renfro and Devontae Adams talk about this team and they all believe they're going to do big things and I'm talking about making a run in the AFC but outside of that I pretty much have talked about everything that I wanted to I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see another Raiders video let's get this to 100 likes if this video hits 100 likes I will make another Raiders video tomorrow outside of that subscribe if you're new I'd love to have you part of the team I'll be posting daily NFL videos moving forward so guys have a good rest of your day have a good weekend my name is Swaggy and I will see you in the next one